makes me crazy I dream about a baby Gazing on days and contagious You're my baby We know each other like the back of our hands Understand There's no mistake and I'm taking this you my dream Okay We're ready all my life So Tupac featuring Notorious B.I.G. Running, running dying, dying to live, live. <laughs> Here we go between you and Biggie was like, who's gonna, who's gonna, who rules the, the, the nigga kingdom and shit, basically, you know what I'm saying? I was like, this is like a fucking it is. election. It's an election it is and that. shit, you know what I'm saying? Me and Biggie's situation is smaller than that. Me and Biggie's situation is like... That's only got a black man. Like, I'm 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 like, I'm
never wish death on nobody, you know what I'm saying? Because they ain't coming back from that. Mm. Oh, that's heavy. That, that's heavy for them to put that particular clip in there, too, because it, it kind of shows you, like, more the human side of Biggie. obviously Biggie, yeah. I don't know. Was was Pac talking like that though? Was he saying that kind of stuff? <laughs> was, was he, he saying, saying that kind of what? stuff? Like, I would never wish no death on anybody. We're like, no, you know, no. I I think in the midst of it, Tupac was already so caught up in it all, you know, feeling like he'd been backstabbed and betrayed. Because you got to remember, uh, it was a point in time where Biggie was like sleeping on Tupac's couch. Like he was like almost taking care of Biggie. Like. Like you, like, like you was really like the little homie. Tupac was. No, Biggie was actually like one was like the little homie to Tupac that was like sleeping on his couch trying to be like the starving artist trying to get on because Pac already kind of had his little spot. Oh. So they kind of go back, like really go back. You know what I mean? But people, wow. did, people, and, and a lot of people kind of thought that they just kind of like crossed paths when the music came along. Yeah. When they both kind of got the stardom, but they knew each other before that. Oh, see, I didn't even know they was like friends like that. Like they was like for real, like. Friends. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. I mm -hmm. thought the whole. I don't. I thought they became like they became enemies over the beef. You know, in terms of like the records and stuff. Like they, they started dissing each other in the, in the yeah. music. Like, I didn't even know they had really for real was like even like homies like that. Yeah. I, the, the the real fallout was when was at uh, the studios. I forgot the name of the studio. It, 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 it misses me, but. The studio in New York where Tupac got robbed downstairs in the lobby, mm -hmm. he kind of felt that Biggie had something Biggie to do with it. And, and Puffy had something to do with it. Even if they didn't like actually set it up, he felt like they knew that it was coming and they could like told him like, oh, like such and such is probably gonna be, you know what I mean? Like they felt like they knew because they were upstairs. Who Biggie and uh... yeah, and uh, recording. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And so he went to the lobby to go up there to record with them, and on his way up to the elevator is when he got. Jammed up at the at the elevator. Okay, see, I don't even know about that. Yeah. I never even heard about the elevator. The elevator? Yeah, he was going to go. He was going to uh, Quad Studios. He was going to go up there to perform. You know, to record with Biggie and Puffy. And he felt like if they didn't set it up, they knew that it was coming. That those dudes were going to be down there and probably was going to do that, but they didn't like warn really him. Really tell him or yeah. anything like that. So that's what were he they was. there for him though? Does he does he know? Like he don't? Did he think that most they were likely, there for him? Most likely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, Ooh, the see, story is really, really deep. Yeah, in regards to like the actual person, the people that actually did that to him were like people that Biggie knew who they were. But you know, you got like these neighborhood enforcers that you know you, you say something, they might do something to you. So he's like, I'm not, I'm not that of a gangster like that to be. You know? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's that. Yeah. They got okay. Yeah, they see. Like I didn't know about all of that. I I only know like you know the main parts. So <laughs> like, so like so for so for them to have this song right here and, and to put it together after they both passed away, again is just like a tribute to both of them. Yeah, oh man, that's crazy. Bring, you know, bringing them together even, uh, you know, after death, life after death. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Custom your body, boy. I'm addicted. Insisting commitment, predicted your intentions. 